a dreadful school, dreadful teachers, dreadful tasks, but to one person, one teacher, who changed the boy's life for the better. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic, heart clenching book Dead Poet Society by N.H. Clambaum. And there is a very famous movie about, about this book, and it's, it's really the, almost exactly the same as the book, so I'd say it's pretty cool. The, there are they are at a school, a very special boarding school. It has many, many strict rules, and their boys there are, well, sent there by rich parents. And these parents, they don't let their kids breathe, to use their own imagination. They don't get to do what they want, what only what the, their parents want. And then one day, a completely new teacher arrives to the school. A man who calls himself Mr. Keating, who becomes their new English teacher. There they find out that school isn't too bad after all. On the first ever class, our dear Mr. John Keating says, seize your day. And what he says is that you one day one day, even if it is hard to believe now, you will stop breathing and die. But there are some days left before that, and every single one of those days, seize the day. Do what you want to do, not what other people tell you to do. Do what you can and must, and do what you want to do. Seize the day. And it is a very extremely good message and people and boys start to think that that well they could rebel they could rebel against their parents their very strict parents their very strict teachers they wanted they knew that well mr keating was right and mr keating starts teaching them poetry and well it's not that boring boring poetry where you have to analyze everything well, the first thing Mr. Keating does, he says to rip out the first book, the introduction of the poetry book that they got. Then, they looked at the poetry and looked at it to see how beautiful it was. And then, the boys, some boys, Todd, Neil, a couple of other boys who lived, well, basically, what, what their school, which they call Helton, and they find something really weird in a, in a book, in Mr. John Keating's old book. It says, Dead Poets Society. And they ask Mr. John Keating what the dead poets are, and he says that it is a secret organization that hasn't been associated for a decade, basically. And it was a society where they worked together in the evening. They told each other poems. They read each other poems. Um, yeah, they talked about themselves as individuals and had a fun time. So, these boys, these boys, Todd, Neil, Meek, Anderson, so on, together, they remake the Dead Poets Society. And things get, might get a little bit more wild from there. From a little content that's not meant for the eye of anyone under the age of 14. And so on. And it has a certain amount of romance in it. And well, basically the book's entire message is that do what you can do, what you want to do. Because you don't have that many days and you may have a lot of things you want to do. And as our one of our characters say, I want to do anything at least once. And it is an awesome heartwarming book. But there is a problem. The school doesn't want these boys to be getting ideas, to rebel against the rules of the school. 
and then they will stop and nothing to do it. And parents, not not lovely, lovely, nice parents, parents who are strict or restrictive and who doesn't listen to their kids. They just say what that you have to become a doctor, but this kid wants to be an actor. So on, and it is just extremely sad and it's tragic. And then, and then it's about this book. It's about a couple of boys who lives in a very hellish school, who starts to find out what they want to do. For example, a boy who was told to become a doctor and always studied to become a doctor because his father forced him to. He became an actor. He he participated in the play, and many other people clench their individuality. Not what their parents told them, what their teachers told them, just what they wanted, what they themselves told themselves to do. It is an awesome, heartwarming book. As I have said multiple times, it is slightly hard to read sometimes, and some content, as I said, is kind of inappropriate. But it, in general, is an awesome, heartwarming book. The end is slightly sad, mingled with happiness, and, well, the book was absolutely epic, and the movie too is really good because Mr. Keating is Robin Williams, who as we know and love as one of the greatest actors that we have ever seen. An awesome book, a tragic book, an inspirational a book about some high schoolers who find what they really want to do with their life. He was their inspiration. He made their lives extraordinary, Mr. Keating. And this book made my reading life extraordinary. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Getting a little bit bored of those fantasy books to read, you read? Why don't you try this one?